Hello everyone, um, welcome back to my channel, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I feel like this is the first sit down video I've done in a really long time, I'm a little bit nervous about it, but i um, trying to put a bit more content up on here because um, I've like neglected it for a bit and today I want to show you what's like currently on my bookshelf slash what I've been reading over the past few months. Um, Let's start with an ebook. Oh, I didn't realise I have not addressed this like naked figure in the back here. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that I've been kind of getting back into art a little bit. So this is a painting I'm doing for someone at the moment. Um, yeah, thought I'd just address that because I completely forgot. E I bought the ebook. Um, Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine I want to say that's what it's called um because everyone's raving about it I think um Claire Marshall um was talking about it on Instagram and I just bit the bullet and I read it um and it like really resonated with me um I really really did enjoy it it's about a woman and I don't want to give too much away who let's just say because of previous trauma she the way in which she conducts herself is obviously her normal but in reality it's actually not very healthy or good for anyone to have to live like that so it's just kind of going through that and all of the kind of twists and turns that come with that and yeah I really liked it because I think she's really a fan of like being on her own and having her own space um so I like identified with her with loads of things like that um and like her coming out of her stepping out of her comfort zone to um like make friends and be sociable um that also kind of resonated with me as well so I really liked it personally I know some people just didn't really see what the big fuss was I'm not saying it's like the best book that has been ever written and it's so beautifully descriptive it's just quite a nice short but like accurate description of what it's like to be going through these kind of things I guess. That was an ebook because I was so eager to read it I couldn't be bothered to wait for um, like ordering it online or reserving it in stores because I think it was late at night so I just bought it and it only took me a few days to read because I just got so engrossed I just kind of lay there scrolling um, and I yeah no I, I did like that. I just also want to say that all of these books are going to be kind of all over the place. Um, there are some like self-care mental health stuff um like just I don't know how you'd say um like self-help empowering books um fiction historical design because I like design um and colouring books this is The Artist's Way it's by Julia Cameron I believe um and I first saw this on Estée Lalonde's channel um anyone who knows me will know that I love Estee um but yes um Estee did a video which I'll link below about being stuck in a rut and kind of like looking at ways to positively try and get yourself out of a rut because I'll be honest like the last year of my life has just felt like a massive rut so I've been trying to go through this and do as I'm told um I definitely slapped I think it got to like mid-November and I just like dipped in like everything um and I'm just now like my head's coming above the surface um towards the end of February so that's nice like it talks about like finding your best creative self and I think often at times people f assume that there's only certain ways to be creative but I think everyone has a creative streak and I think this is what this is about like whether that be like drawing illustration painting writing art like there's just loads of different ways creativity kind of is in all of our lives and I feel like we're creative people so it talks about like doing your morning pages which I'm very bad at and they maybe become afternoon slash evening pages where you're just supposed to like word vomit three longhand written pages of just anything that's in your mind just to like get it out there let go of it be free of it um and in the beginning I was like I don't even know what to write but literally you can just write I don't even know what to write and 
slowly things will start coming out so I'm doing that again and also things like taking yourself out on an artist date to kind of replenish I guess your inspirations and fall back in love with things I guess so like that made me start going to the cinema um, so I watched The Favourite, which I loved, and Olivia Colman won an Oscar, as well as I think a Golden Globe, or she's won various awards, and like, I love her. Um, she is a national treasure, and she's amazing. Um, I'll link her speech below, because I just thought it was so, so good, and no one deserves it more. So I've just noticed on the back that Russell Brand said, I love it, a practical, spiritual, nurturing book. So it's got Russell Brand's seal of approval. And I quite like Russell Brand. The Artist's Way, a course in discovering and recovering your creative self. Next is Sad Girls by, I don't really know how to pronounce her name, um, Lang Liev. I don't know how to pronounce that, I should probably look it up. Um, and I went to help my sister um, go shopping last year at some point, and we went to Westfield, and this was in Urban Outfitters, and she spotted the um, name of the author and was saying how she saw her early work on Tumblr and how she's such a good writer um, and she was going to get this and I was like just flicking through it because um, I was interested in it and yeah this isn't very usual for me to like be able to get through books as fast as I am getting through them but if they are quite gripping um, I tend to like neglect everything else and just like hermit and read away and this was like one of those books and Again, it resonated with me because it was just quite accurate. Again, with the kind of things it deals with. It deals with like love, relationships, friendships, and like how difficult and messy that can all be. Um, so yeah, it's in no way exactly like very away with the fairies. It's quite gritty. I think the kind of name gives it away. It's not exactly the most uplifting, but like, it's not exactly entirely depressing. <laughs> I don't know if I'm really saying this, but. Um, it's really really good and I'll read you what the blurb says. A girl who cried wolf, a boy in sheep's clothing, a killer romance, a deadly secret. Trigger warning, it does have um, themes of suicide in it so if that's something that would bother or upset you maybe give it a miss um, or just kind of go into it knowing that it does deal with things like that and it also deals with like substance abuse and stuff like that so yes i did really enjoy this and what a time to be alone by the slum flower my sister got this for me for christmas i don't even know how she knew to get me this because it's something i have been wanting um but at the same time i feel like i am in some ways this is irritating to some of my friends i'm very good at being alone and um sometimes i kind of take that to the whole new level as in I become some sort of hermit um but there's also lots of other just good advice in this in general it's like, incredibly uplifting and I love that she's got some of her like cultural sayings in here because sometimes sayings in other languages just don't translate properly so she like has them and she tries to explain them um so I really 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 like that and it's really beautifully designed like it's lovely um it's a really really nice but next I have The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur. Kaur. I don't know how to say her name properly. I have already read Milk and Honey by her and I like kept rereading it because it's just lovely. I know loads of people like take the mic and jibe at her because um, her work seems quite like simplistic and maybe it, it, I guess it, it comes across as very simple and um, it's all like lowercase and it's not, I guess, like proper in the grammatical um, sense of the way one would expect things to be. But I just like how it feels like they're just these capsules of her thoughts. Um, and I just really appreciate that kind of thing. Because I've always been someone who enjoys writing, um, not exactly like novels or stories, but poetry is like my favourite kind of thing to digest and read um, because I think it's a bit more manageable and it's just something I prefer and how if like a poet really concentrates on what they're writing they can like pack so much in behind all the different layers and techniques and meanings so yeah English literature is one of the things I really enjoy but not enough for me to um, have, to have kept studying after AS or 
go into it um for a degree or anything but i love it um and i did quite well at school with it so i really like this so this is kind of like a step up and maybe a little bit less dark and a bit more kinder than the first one another book i'd like to mention is i love my love by Raina Biddy. Um, I found out about it through Grace Victory. I think she posted about it either on like Instagram, Twitter or YouTube. And again, it was like a kind of, as we'd say, an anthology of like poems and just other kind of bits of prose. And um, I don't know where it is now. I think it's downstairs on the piano, but I really have been enjoying that as well and just kind of going through it. And it, I think it did appear in one of my blogs like maybe a couple videos ago and I was just reading that um, and it's just lovely basically kind of for the same reasons as the previous one just the way they're able to articulate themselves in a way that's really pure honest and relatable is just amazing you guys have probably heard me talk about this one before this is The Diary of a Teenage Girl um, by Phoebe Glockner um, I definitely have this has definitely appeared on camera before um, and again it's a bit like tattered but I am rereading it oh my bookmark just fell out okay, there we go focused um I got it from Spring Melon and again I just kind of like first of all the film is what I watched first and that was amazing also an Estée Lalonde recommendation and it was just like captured the teenage girl experience really well in the same way that Louise Renanson did in regards to like the Anger Stongs series and also the film which I highly recommend. Um, so I just really liked that but this was um, much more like visceral and a bit more like insane because this is based on the um, author's real life which was in the 70s and obviously like compared to now it's just it was just a very different life back then um and how like daring she is and the things that she does um and i really know what happens but i just love reading it and i like that it's also like a graphic novel um and there's illustrations um but i'd probably say 15 and up because um there are definitely like gentles and things in here so maybe not for the young ones or maybe get it without the no actually the content as well just 15 and up i'd say sticking with the whole poetry thing i also got this the other day um charlie 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 cox is um she must be mad um i've been following charlie cox for like years i think she's all, like an amazing person in general she's just done so much and she's so like young and inspiring but like absolutely killing it um and i think i first kind of discovered her when jack scap so jack and finn harry's like started like years ago um on youtube and i think she was just kind of a little bit like around and with that crew so I think she was producing or something and she's also produced like Bertie Gilbert's um, podcast that he was doing like a few years ago so she's just been involved in really cool stuff and like lots of creators I like have worked with her also like Adrian Bliss and stuff like that so I've wanted to get her stuff for a while um, and I've known that she does do poetry because she kind of posts that on her social media um, and I was so happy for her that this book came out and she talks about um, mental health and I just really like the way she talks about it in this and it's again so honest and accurate um, and I love it so much she just captures things so well and I just I can I just keep feeling so moved um, and the back of it says for every woman surviving and thriving in today's world for every girl who feels too much this is a call for communion you are not alone um and it's very like coming of age at the top it says social media's answer to caroline duffy um i personally not the biggest fan of caroline duffy um i distinctly remember studying her at school and it just wasn't for me i know she either was or is a i think she was our poet laureate but um I get where they're coming from in terms of that and like how fresh and modern and colloquial it is um but at the same time I think Charlie's on a, another level personally um also I got it from Waterstones and I didn't realize it was signed and that made me extra happy this is the last um kind of poetry related thing and this is instant poetry I think I was browsing urban outfitters just because I love urban outfitters like home stuff and i'm just looking through just perusing and basically this is like 
and kind of what would I call this this is like a tool to kind of force you I guess in a way to become um, a poet and on the back it says instant poetry it says now you can become a poet without having a a black turtleneck b writing talent c all of the above which i just think is funny um so it's like a funny take and it's just really random stuff and it's like free verse nursery rhyme modern gothic and you just kind of fill it in yourself which i really like the idea of because um i have mentioned that i enjoy writing but sometimes i just want to write just for the sake of writing because i find it quite cathartic and i really think that this would just be fun to do and like traveling you can just pop little things in um and i like it that it's kind of something i can do like an activity book as well this is going to be a really weird one because this is technically a textbook <laughs> um and it's yeah it's by hodder education basically i picked this up again because as i'm sure you guys all know have heard of brexit is the thing it's happening um and i was really fortunate enough to have studied um britain after um the second world war up until about 2007 um so that kind of gave me a good idea or foundation in terms of like politics history um and economics and like the social climate in this country i really miss doing history i like absolutely loved it um but anyway, I digress. Um, I just wanted to kind of refresh myself on things like all EU stuff. Um, because, you know, I don't feel like the Brexit thing's going very well. I'm not going to get into it now because I could easily just like have a rant or something. I'm just trying to, you know, stay calm. I'm just kind of rereading stuff because I found it fascinating. And I want to like keep that knowledge like topped up in my mind. Within that same vein, I then decided to buy this book because I saw it at the checkout when I went to Waterstones the other day to pick up a book that I'll mention later. Nine Lessons in Brexit by Ivan Rogers. Um, so like on the front it says, there's this quote by JK Rowling and it says, remember the words of Ivan Rogers the next time you see some plausible posh boy in a suit telling you no deal wouldn't hurt at all. So I feel like it's a bit like tongue in cheek and again, you know, trying to keep that stuff topped up and make sure I can kind of get my point across when I talk about things. And it's just good to be like well informed and I'm going to now slip into like a little, little bit of a rant. But like the majority of people, especially the ones who voted, probably didn't know enough or were experts on actually the whole Brexit and Europe thing um because I think there was just a lot of what you f people thought was the reality versus the actual reality so it's nice when you hear like people who are experts or actually know what they're talking about um discussing Brexit because then it's just like anyway I'm gonna stop there as I mentioned before I actually went to Waterstones to pick up this book because I'd reserved it and it's called Eleanor and Park um, by Rainbow Rowell. Um, I haven't finished it um, but I have started it and so far I like the way it's written. It's just it's very nicely written and I picked this up because I was watching Emma's Rectangle. Um, she had a quote on a framed quote on her wall in her um, new flat which she's been moving into I'm just gonna get the screenshot up on my phone and I just thought the quote was just so it was just so lovely the way that um, I think it's a guy in this um, describing a girl um, and he wasn't describing like her beauty in the typical sense of the word if that makes sense so this is what the person says and I feel like this is I personally would find this as a compliment if someone said this to me. Um, she never looked nice. She looked like art. And art wasn't supposed to look nice. It was supposed to make you feel something. And I feel like that just kind of rounds up how I feel about art. Um, and not equating or only just complimenting people's looks in general. Because there's so much more to like looking nice and being pretty. Like, so what? Doesn't you look nice? that's about as much as there is 
hopefully you've got a nice personality too so I just really enjoyed that quote and also John Green the author of The Fault in Our Stars his quote on the book says reminded me not just what it's like to be young and in love with a girl but also what it's like to be young and in love with a book it's like makes me smile when I read it next is this book called Zine Book of Interviews I got this not this birthday but the one before from my sister um, I believe um, and it's the design book of interviews which features 45 conversations with leading international figures in architecture and design selected from the pages of influential design website design.com um, and I don't even think my sister because we don't really like follow each other on social media and she doesn't have that much of it I don't even think she knew that I loved design so the fact that she got me this was just amazing um, so it's just like flicking through um, and reading little tidbits from designers which is so cool I really like it and it's got pictures as well but it's mostly just like the little interviews within that same vein I picked up this book at Oliver Bonus it's called Women Design I think it's by Libby Sellers um, and I was looking at various books that my local Oliver Bonus has I love Oliver Bonus by the way um, and just again this is just like another diversion but I went to the one on Chiswick High Street and they were so nice in there like even before I'd even bought anything or whatever they were just lovely and it was just the best time basically and I love that um, and I thought I'd pick this up because they had other um, books on women but I thought this would be the most relevant one to me because it's about design so it's about pioneers in architecture industrial graphic and digital design from the 20th century to the present day oh she sounds amazing i've never heard of her before anyway yeah she just sounds like she's got kind of like the dream job going to be honest um but i'm looking forward to getting into this this was the other book i picked up from oliver bonus it's called self-care for the real world it's by Nadia Narain and Katia Narain Phillips. Kate Moss is quoted on the front saying, I want to give this book to everyone I know! Exclamation point. Other people who have recommended this are Sam Taylor Johnson, Sienna Miller and Reese Witherspoon. Um, so yes, I started this and so far so good. Also, it's not like I mentioned in my previous video about self-care, it's not all like you know, getting your nails done, face masks, massages. It's also about just that normal everyday stuff that you need in order to, to like kind of look after and protect yourself. I mean like just kind of put yourself forward in front of everything else. So I'm liking that because I'm trying to get better at that and be kinder um, to myself. So yeah and I think that is everything